Now a hearing that is being held. Today is Tuesday, June 24th. Sunrise continues now. In KYMA Studios, this is News 11 Sunrise, your number one source for news in the desert southwest. Good morning, Desert Southwest. Thank you so much for joining us here on Sunrise today, on this Tuesday. Very warm start for you. How are you liking the uh, Yuma temperatures out there? It is hotter than Phoenix, I have to say. Yeah, I think it is. I'm happy you said that because I, I used to live in Phoenix, too, and I said that when I came to Yuma, and everybody looked at me like I was crazy. They're like, <laughs> no, it's the same. It's a total different heat, I believe, mm. between yeah. here and Phoenix, and it's a lot more humid. Yeah, that okay. is that true? You okay. know I wouldn't weather. say uh, as far as the humidity. I think we feel the humidity more because we're so much we're so much drier than Phoenix. Mm -hmm. So yeah. they see the humidity more often. But when we see the humidity, it's because we haven't felt it in so long. So you, it just like knocks you out. You know what I mean? Like Maybe that's just, what it is. So. Whatever you say, Joey. All right, let's get. She's up learning. Here. I know. <laughs> Cut them off. All right, let's go. Obviously, I can't talk about weather, so let's go up and check out what's going on. 83 degrees into the Yuma Blythe, around 81 outside. This morning, Kelly, you want to you want to finish for me? What's going on? Sure. Here? Um, let's take a look at the local radar and satellite. <clears throat> All clear. A few clouds rolled in overnight. Not here anymore. Yeah, right. Good job. Right. You and see um, a couple little spots. Yeah, just a few little spots, but that's in the morning hours, so about 7:30, they should start <laughs> to clear out. All right. And I'm take let, it back. Do I'm you have let you else? and you and Molly take care of it in the mornings from now on. We'll let Molly be the the <laughs> fill-in weather. Yeah. She can be the weather helper. Okay, I'll teach her. That All way right. I can say, hey, Molly, I don't feel like working today. <laughs> All right. Well, it was late into the night and it was nasty. A text testy exchange on Capitol Hill about the IRS scandal. And there's more to come today. Tracy Potts has the latest. Two years. All right, welcome back. Well, it's baby number two for Kristen Bell and Dax Shepard. The celebrity couple's daughter, Lincoln, is now 15 months old. A rep tells Entertainment Tonight that the whole family is beyond excited. 33-year-old Bell and 39-year-old Shepard, who married last October after a three-year engagement, plan to keep the photos private. And Hope Solo goes to court after being arrested over the weekend. Singer Robin Thicke makes an emotional plea to his estranged wife in a new music video. Mary Mueller has the details on these stories and more to come in today's Hollywood Minute. Soccer star Hope Solo appeared in a Washington state court Monday. The two-time Olympic gold medalist pleaded not guilty to charges that she attacked family members at a home near Seattle early Saturday. Police responded and say she appeared drunk. Solo was released with some conditions, including not drinking alcohol. Robin Thicke's new music video is his latest attempt at winning estranged wife Paula Patton back. All I want to do is make it right, make it right. The pair split in February after almost nine years of marriage following rumors Thicke was cheating. The video for Get Her Back off his upcoming album, Paula, shows a series of unsettling text messages between a couple. The woman in the video even looks like Patton. This may not be Thicke's last try. At the end of the video, a text reads, this is just the beginning. Fields of gold won't be going to Sting's six children. The singer worth more than $300 million tells the Daily Mail there won't be much money left for his kids when he dies. Why? Because he's going to spend it. He also says he isn't leaving his children trust funds, but adds he's proud of their good work ethic. For Hollywood Minute, I'm Mary Muller. All right, well, New Jersey Governor Chris Christie took a break from politics Monday to play in a celebrity softball game at Yankee Stadium. He took the field for the fourth annual Bombers Boomer Broadway soft softball classic. Christie told reporters that things are a little different now compared to his high school days when he was a star baseball catcher. Christie wore number 55 because he is the state's 55th governor. And Angelina Jolie and Elle Fanning are welcomed with open arms in Tokyo yesterday. The two popular actresses hit the red carpet to promote their new movie, Maleficent. Maleficent is the new Disney version of the Sleeping Beauty fairy tale. The character of Maleficent is played by Jolie. The wicked fairy godmother is one of Disney's most popular characters. And Aurora, the Sleeping Beauty, is played by Elle Fanning. Hey, 
it's amazing. I'm so glad that people are liking it and accepting it because, you know, it's a story that people already know, but uh, it's definitely a new twist on it. So I'm glad that people like the, uh, the new take. <laughs> Jolie said that the film has a strong, positive message. Well, that's a look at what's going on in Hollywood. We'll be right back with weather after the break. Mardi Gras, man. I know. <laughs> yeah. Having a party. What's yeah. up? All right. Well, hundreds of gymnasts gathered on a bridge in Pittsburgh Monday to attempt to break the world record involving a cartwheel. Olympic gold medal winning gymnast Gabby Douglas led more than 700 gymnasts in a synchronized cartwheel in an attempt to break the world record for the most cartwheels at one time. The group also did some practice cartwheels on the bridge. The world record attempt is one of more than 700 events taking place in more than 160 countries between June 14th and the 30th to celebrate. I, I Olympic can't even Day. cartwheel. I can do a one-hand cartwheel. Maybe I'll show you guys tomorrow. Wow. Yeah, right. You ain't showing nobody. That's when we'll be back. Yeah, right.